M0FXB, you've heard of Flex Radio SDR transceivers. Have you heard of the Maestro? So although it looks right, like a radio, it's actually not a radio. It's light and portable, and you can pretty much take it anywhere. It has an Ethernet connection. And as long as you've got your radio connected to the you know, your Wi-Fi, your Ethernet at home, you could take this device anywhere in the world. It has a built-in battery and fully control your transceiver. And these transceivers aren't like other transceivers. They use what you call slice. And you think, well, what's a slice? So imagine one line of frequency. You can click on that and listen to that. Then you can choose another slice, click on that, and you're listening to that frequency and so on. So, you know, the technology is, is, is massively ahead of its time. And, you know, these devices are, I'll, I'll show you one of the back panels. And you can see all the different connectivity there, antenna one, antenna two, the ethernet, the USB. I just, I could be listening it for, for ages. And uh, let's have a quick look at the, at the 500 watt version. You know, look at this one here. It says one giant leap for ham kind. All new family of HF6 meter transceivers. I'm pretty sure they're called Aurora, uh, featuring the world's first truly integrated 500 watt. It's like, whoa. And then see the front here. If we look at zoom into the front. And of course, you don't have to have a front. Yeah, you don't have to have a, you know, a lot. Many people say don't bother purchasing either the the Maestro or, or the radio with the front panel, you don't need it because the interactivity with the user when you're using your iPad, laptop, you know, Windows PC, whatever, I, uh, Mac PC, it's so good. They're saying you don't need it. But I mean, many of us, we do like to twiddle and that's me. A couple of different models here that I'm just moving around. 510, 520, 520. So if it's an M, it has a front, okay? And then you, you buy integrated antenna tuners as well. They're about £400. So if you look here at the AU510M, the actual front of the, um, you know, I was talking about the Maestro earlier. It looks identical, doesn't it? Even where the speaker sits underneath, uh, the knobs where they've got the, the two AF gains there and your band width right in front of you. How you control your F1, F2, F3, and RX, TX, A, B, RX. It looks identical. Now you've got the Maestro A, B, and C, and the C model has you know the best enhancements, the best, uh, I would say, battery and, and that. But it doesn't look that different than the than the A. So of course I'll be testing all this kind of stuff soon. I'm I'm brand new to the Flex system, uh, and I you know it doesn't stop me from thinking that the Yaesu FT-101D and the 710 and the 7300, the new 700 Mark II, and they're all fantastic products, you know? Um, but this this is literally taking you to, uh, up to a different level. And of course, you've got to take into account the price as well. But the development of this radio is you turn it on, you go to Australia, I'm in the UK, you turn on your device, you are, you're, you're connected to it. And it, it looks to me like if you've got, say you've got two or three radios, you can use the same system to connect to either radio that uh, there's different firmwares uh, and that. So, so yeah, just give it a go. Bye for now.